here, shall we? <laughs> good morning, everybody. Morning. Good morning. Our morning. Say, Shabby says good morning. Greet Papa back. Uh, hello, Jacob. Good morning. <laughs> That's a sleepy head. Okay, it's the last day of July. July 31st, 2019, a Wednesday. And today is uh, a feast day. It's the feast day of St. Ignatius of Loyola. Anybody know who St. Ignatius is? Huh? What's that, Joe? Jesuit. It's a Jesuit, founder of the Jesuit order. So, <clears throat> greetings to all my uh, fellow Jesuit bred uh, folks like like the Athenians from Ateneo. <laughs> Somebody's putting a thumbs down over there. Uh, yeah, well, some products of La Salle are around here. So <laughs> the traditional rivals of the Athenians. Uh, well, you know, all these saints are good. Because they're all in heaven, and that's what we're going to talk about. That's what we're going to talk about today. So, Matthew, I mean the Gospels of St. Matthew, chapter 13, verses 44 to 46. Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure buried in a field, which a person finds and hides again. And out of joy goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant searching for fine pearls. When he finds a pearl of great price, he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. So, pearl of great price and treasure. Okay? Treasure hidden in a field. And our Lord gives us the image here, okay, where, where people leave everything behind. They sell everything they have in order to obtain the treasure that they have found. Because that is what heaven is like. Heaven is for those of us called by God to sanctify ourselves and be part of His family in heaven forever, heaven for us is everything. And it is worth sacrificing everything. It's worth sacrificing and doing away with, with all of our cares and focus on one thing that's most important. That is going to heaven that is possessing our final reward in heaven okay the very basic catechism question which we ask and review many times why did god create me what is the answer to that question louder louder mia louder To know, love, and serve God, and as a consequence of that, to be happy, be happy with Him forever in heaven. See, So heaven is our ultimate reward, and we should aspire for heaven. We should constantly think of that reward of heaven, okay? and to be with God in heaven forever. That's a very healthy that's a very healthy thing to keep in mind. It's a very healthy aspiration to always keep in mind that after all of our strivings on earth, there is heaven to look forward to. Heaven. <clears throat> and you know, when your grandpa, when Grandpa Jacob was sick and the doctors finally told him that there's no more cure, no more intervention, that could make him get better um, after the doctor has said his piece then it was my turn we were at the hospital it was my turn to break the news to him that we were going to put him in hospice care and that we were going to take him home so i could not forget that scene 
which is very, very vivid in my mind, when the doctor was trying to explain to him his medical condition, right? Grandpa's face was quite crumpled like this in um, because he perhaps was trying to comprehend, he was trying to understand what the doctor was trying to tell him, and perhaps he was trying to reconcile in his head, you know, how can I be so sick, you know, because that, that, I, that I have no cure anymore, because, uh, you know, as we were going through doctor's visits, Grandpa would always say, uh, I'm, I'm supposed to be a very strong 82-year-old, how can this be happening to me, right? So he was a little bit in denial, like like many people who uh, uh, are, are diagnosed to be uh, having terminal illnesses. But and so so he was like that. He was not that, you know. He, he just I guess he could not understand what was really going on with him, and and uh, he was quite distressed with with that look in his face, that serious look in his face. If you can imagine how Grandpa looks when he's serious, right? But then when it was my turn to tell him that we were going home, so he turned his face to me still with a crumpled look. Like that, right? With that. And then I told him, Pop, we're going home and we're going to prepare you to go to heaven. And you know from that kind of look like that, Grandpa's face all of a sudden just calmed down. It just changed. His whole countenance changed when he heard of heaven. When he heard we were going home to prepare him to finally meet Jesus. And those were my exact words. I told him, Pop, we're going to take you home and prepare you to meet Jesus in heaven. And I told him also, this is what you have lived your whole life for. To finally, to finally be in heaven. And that thing just relaxed him like, it was a big change, a very, very big change from his, his disposition just a few seconds before that, before I said that, to all of a sudden, peace and calm and serenity was painted all over his face because, because of that reminder that perhaps at that very moment, he was not thinking about, but then when, when, when I shifted his gaze on me instead of on the doctor and told him, it's time, the time you've been waiting for, the moment you have lived your whole life for, is finally happening. It's finally happening. Heaven. Heaven is going to open up. And Jesus will be at the gate. And Jesus is going to welcome you. Because Jesus is your friend. And you've tried to befriend Jesus and get to know him very well. All throughout this 82 years. And now you're going to finally meet him face to face. When before we... Like us, we would only meet him through the veil of the tabernacle. We would meet him in the species of bread and wine. But then, now he received his reward. So, it's an aspiration all of us have to harbor in our hearts it's it's the it's the goal of our life to be with God in heaven forever and there we're gonna meet all our friends we're gonna meet grandpa 
I'm almost sure of that. <laughs> We're gonna meet Grandpa. We're gonna meet everybody else and all the saints who have lived their lives doing the will of God every day. We're gonna meet Our Lady. We're going to meet Saint Joseph. We're going to meet your guardian angel. You'll finally meet your guardian angel face to face. The one who has always stood beside you all throughout your life. The one who has always guided you and helped you avoid temptations. The one who has always stood by you in every need you had, whether you realized it or not. Your best friend, your guardian angel. You're going to finally meet him. And you're going to finally meet everybody else who loved God and did the will of God on earth the way we are all trying to every day, hopefully. Right? So, it's a very good practice. That, you know, when you do your uh, morning offering, when you do your morning offering every morning, it's always a good practice, as I do every day, to think of this day as though it were the last. As though it will be, be the last day of your life. And ask yourself, how would I be living this day if today were my last day? Just like the song you always sing. If today was your last day. Right? That's why that's a very significant song. I like that song, you know. If today were my last day, what am I going to do? How am I going to live my life? Am I going to heaven if today were my last day? See? If today were my last day, will I go to heaven today? Will I meet Jesus today? If today were my last day. So live your lives every day as though it were your last day. Okay? Okay? And maybe that's a nice refrain. You know, since you sang that song, that was a refrain that plays in my head every morning. Every morning. If today was my last day, what am I going to do? <laughs> okay? Okay, so very good. Live your life every day as though it were your last day. And hoping that Jesus would be at the gates of heaven to meet us. Okay? When we finally, finally breathe our last. Just like your grandpa did and all the faithful uh, uh, saints who are in heaven now did. Okay, that should be it for us today, folks. Bye-bye. We're off to Mass. Have a good day, everybody. Hope to see you tomorrow. If today were not my last day. I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>